Now that we are logged in, the first step is changing the password as the defaults are obviously not secure. Depending on your machine, you'll now have a selection of network interfaces. Select the interface connected to the network containing your servers. In my case, this is the ENS19, but you can identify the network using the IP address pre-configured in your Linux. Now we'll create a network. All of my servers run within the network 10.0.0.0 and netmask24. It's very hard to migrate IP addresses with Ceph, so you have to be certain about using the correct IP network. We have to specify a DHCP pool, since we use DHCP and PXE to boot servers over the network. I am setting the start IP to 101, since that way the first server has the IP 101 and the 20th server has the IP 120. After creating the network, our management node automatically creates DHCP and TFTP servers everything necessary to boot servers over the network using PXE. The next step is to simply start the servers. For demo purposes, I prepared a script to take care of everything. Now one by one all the servers will show up. During system boot, we can see the server communicating with our management node. Meanwhile, they instantly show up in our frontend. Our management node now pushes an image. As soon as it's ready, the frontend will state it as running and show additional information. By selecting a server, we can enter the disk overview and create the first mon on the disk for choosing. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a fairly small disk, but for a production cluster, you should use a fast 120 or 240 GB SSD for your mons. We confirm our decision and as soon as the task completes, we are able to finish the cluster installation. Please note, the initial setup only includes configuration of the first mon, everything else will be done in a later step. By clicking the Create Cluster button, we are starting a task which we can check out by clicking the pop-up in the upper right corner. This lets us check out what's happening behind the scenes. In this case, the Ceph deploy log of the initial cluster creation is displayed. As soon as we are redirected to the dashboard, our initial setup is completed. In the next video, we'll set up OSDs.